Yo guys, what's up? It's the final series of Warhammer Eternal Strife. The grand finals. The winner gets $60, loser gets $40. 16 races of the Warhammer Fantasy Universe. And our two players will be picking one of them to represent themselves in the best of three first map that's coming up. So we've got uh, this game here. Hank once again going for his tried and true empire. Uh, nobody has been able to stop him yet. But Inspired likewise is also sitting on a 2-0 record in this tournament. He's going for the same hero. And using the high elf farm to creep. Pretty neat. It's very effective. 11 to 13 damage, average attack speed, units out of nowhere. Using their unique racial mechanic to summon timed militia that presumably are free and just on a cooldown out of the high elf farm. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably not free. Maybe it costs a little bit of gold. I don't know. But it can't be much, if anything. Going with the smithy. Coming in with a couple of uh, high elf spearmen. Hank once again with the fast expansion. And if Inspired was doing his homework and watching the other semi-finals, then he would know that this is what Hank does every game. The early expo. And I feel that if it was me, I would be looking for a way to harass the expansion to try and blind counter it. I freaking love modded multiplayer dub C3. Me too. I've only recently discovered it. Yeah, these militia have fortified armor. ASDF19. Oh, it's over already at home, the tournament. Okay, is he gonna expand himself? We're going for a tier one all in. What are you gonna do, Inspired? I feel like he's just doing some random creeping with a practice that he, with a like setup that he practiced. By the way, I thought this was a woman. It's a man. I just saw the face. Because it uses the Jaina model. But it's more like Medivh's haunted face. Ginger brother. Are you watching witty content sometimes? Yeah, I just watched this video yesterday. Warcraft Reforged four years later. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't move. Oh my god, he just did a shockwave that killed one high elf spearman. Has no mana to do more. But can go in with another hit and get this spearman. Can he block him out? Oh, nice. Ah! Okay, nice block. Hey, how did he die? Wait, does this illusion deal damage? Oh, no, 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 no. It's the Empire Archers in the red here. Kind of like muted dark red. Big harass. But Inspired did know about this expo. Comes in with his uh, split attack and does a lot of harass damage. So he's not letting him get away with it. However, the few units he has at home aren't remotely strong enough to defend himself. And I don't think these high elf workers have their own unique m m defense mechanic. He did stop the mining in the expo, but he's being hurt in his own mining at home. He's down to 25 population and Hank is at 45. This base trade is not working out for him. And all the illusions that are being summoned are tanking up damage, even though they're no threat. So many high elf workers have been killed. And he was driven away by the free company militiamen. It looks pretty over to me. This is just... Uh, it's, it's not good RTS skills to see your opponent make expo and not come up with a way to deal with it definitively. Full measures need full responses. And he's going with an attack here. But as I've always tried to teach people, when you're under the gun and they have like a massive advantage, you need to either exploit a similarly strong alternative advantage, such as superior unit tech, but he doesn't have it because he's tier one, or impermeability of your main by towering up and then having freedom to move around, or creeping more 
or you need to make more army while they're investing in the expansion and then you stop their advantage but he's going for a middle of the road approach things like adding a lumber mill do not work towards getting you something that matters it feels like single player gameplay style i sometimes look at my own play like this and then i hit myself for having such a moderate approach uh, it, it's typical how people uh develop their own gameplay style in single player games if you had never been exposed to multiplayer and you play some rts you're probably gonna play like an ai two units of everything because you don't have a sense of urgency playing against ai you get to a multiplayer game someone quickly does something they tower rush you they fast expand you need a similarly decisive and committed approach it's what i'm missing here from inspired but i'm seeing it very well from hank hank looking like a proper high mmr warhammer eternal strife player spends his resources well macros builds up his farms his barracks transitions from one unit to the next to the next to the next and he's fast expanding every game good mana regen on Adiel. he's got a dragon horn temporarily increase nearby allied unit armor by one and damage by 10 that's pretty cool there's no tp on michael wild dog wild dog wild dog so if he can somehow kill the hero that would be something at least ah he's going to the shop what does he buy he'll scroll a scroll of life to be exact hoppa nice tier one has started but too little too late how about you play against the winner ah, okay i'm willing to do that if they're willing to i probably don't know the map as well as any of the four of you yet <laughs> i play against the winner if they accept it best of one i better start thinking now then oh he bought a seed of rebirth I like the stabby stabby spear sounds. Sword, actually. It's a very subtle stabbing. You barely wouldn't notice it. You would barely notice it if not for the rivulets of blood coming out from under your tunic. Like, oh my. I have been stabbed, haven't I? Ta ta. Cruel world. That's what these free company militiamen will do to you. Look at him trying to sneak away after a little bit of surreptitious stabbing. Are under attack. He's gonna pay for what he's done! A worthy death. He deserved it. So, tier 2 has been reached. Light Mage Adept Training increases mana regen, gives them the speed of light upgrade. We've also got the second hero, Dragon Mage, a fearsome wizard. Can learn the Burning Head. The Burning Head has an easy cure. You need to drink more water before it's too late and wash often. Guard towers ready here, see the sentry ward. Oh, nice splash damage attack. Wonder what the cooldown is on that, right? If somehow Inspired wins, I feel like it'd be very wild. But it is not impossible. He has been fireball smoked and chained by the uh, by, Anas by Anasian, who is uh, not all out of love, life, and mana. Melee hand gunners getting speared down. Antibiotics help as well. That's true. It's not a bad attack, honestly. Hank is down to 36 population. I don't know how Inspired is doing this. Everything I 
I feel like I know about RTS says that this shouldn't be possible. Hey, man. And perhaps it really isn't. Thank you for the raid taker. Hope you had a good stream. Everything I thought I know says this shouldn't be possible. He had lost many workers while staying tier one against someone that's been tier two forever. And probably it will still go that way. Hank is gonna get level five now. He's gonna hire his four mercenaries. And he's got a bound dragon as well. Oh, you hired it from the Murkam. There's an old deal Mercs here. Oh no. This is the same Murkam as on every map. It's just part of it. Classified as a summon. Okay, cool. Level five. Has the dragon. Meanwhile, creeping. Oh, he's got the sword master of Hoeth. This is what killed uh, the Binafrons. A bunch of these dudes. Look at how composed they are. He walks with the quiet confidence of someone that has so much skill that he doesn't need to do any flashy moves. A stalwart, confident sword wielder. A Giga Chat. Bam. Okay, let's see it. The Bound Dragon might be an issue. Can he even deal with that? It has a 950 life. I don't think he has a lot of anti-air. The next shockwave is gonna ruin him, I say. Ruin. Ugh. Yeah. What's he making now? Sword mage, light mage. I don't think he even has anti-air. He's just making a bunch of mages. But where are his archers? He saw the militia and he ran. He can just wait 30 seconds and they'll be gone and on cooldown. By the way, cool uh, red laser. What was that? They had like burning arrows for a little bit. And now they don't. It was like a little upgrade. The glow was cool. This glow is cool too. Shockwave is gonna hurt. Level three on Anasian. The Dragon Mage did a huge Orb of Fire attack on the hero. Okay, 44 pop. 43. I can't believe it. Somehow, some way. The economy deficit has been compensated. And he's gonna get level 4 Dragon Mage almost from this camp. I think almost. By the way, he could just hire Bound Dragon as well. There's actually two in stock. Don't lose the Swordmaster, Hoeth. Don't lose it! No! No! Red Drake Egg. Counter expansion has been initiated. Ooh, he's got his own Swordsman. Empire Swordsman. Just a solid dude, you know, 13 damage to 15, two armor, 500 health. To be honest, not that good in stats. He does attack fast, let's see it. It's a little better than a footman. Tankier, more damage. I don't know how much it costs, he might have been ripped off. Oh, Bound Dragon going for the main base. There is an anti-magic tower, but it will take a while to take the dragon down. Honestly, big army, especially now with the Red Drake. He can do anything he wants. He is the stronger player right now, the stronger army. No town portal though, and I think Hank recognizes that. And goes for a TP purchase base trade. He's at 51. He sold an item on 51 pop, which actually incurs you the 30% loss of upkeep. So Hank is actually struggling a bit economically. He's going to tier three, but I don't know how he's gonna use it. He's just finished an upgrade. What's his upgrade like? 1-0. It's a far cry from where he was at last game against Soima. And now a 4 peasant expansion. I feel like Inspired has made the comeback. I now don't see a way for Hank to win anymore, which is wild because I felt like I was writing a eulogy in the first 7 minutes or so, the first 10 minutes. Now Inspired looks real strong. Shockwave is still good, but the Bound Dragon dies. Two units have died for Inspired. 
two for one trade in favor of Hank so far, but the remaining army is insane. He's taking so much damage on Michael Welldog. It goes down. He did have the seed of rebirth. If he dies again, that might be it. I wonder. Oh, huge shockwave. He needs to get Anasian's dragon magic attached to uh, this grand master. Instead, he cast it on the units. And it's actually Splash. I had a TP. Yeah. <laughs> I think he lost it. <laughs> Wait, is item breaker is item breaker a real thing? What are you memeing? <laughs> I There's actually an item breaker! He broke his TP! <laughs> oh man... He can break the enemy TP! Any counter to it? Not have items! <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be robbed if you don't have a wallet! You cannot be mugged if you don't have a wallet! That's some case of victim blaming if I've ever seen one. Any counter, don't have items. <laughs> Taps forehead. I can't believe this. I can't believe Inspired won. GG. Wow. All right. There we go. 1 0 lead for Inspired against Hank. We go to the potential rubber match. No, rubber match is when it's 1 1, right? We go to the potential equalizer or the. Uh, the fatality. All right, guys, here we go. Potentially the final game between Inspired and Hank. Unless it goes to the rubber match with a one to one score. Warhammer Eternal Strife Tournament. $140 of prize money is uh, it's going down. Grand Finals. Inspired took a, in my opinion, surprising turnabout and managed to clinch the first map with his uh, high elves against the empire of Hank. Hank has shown one strat so far. Empires, false expansion with the shockwave guy. And this time, Inspired, once again, is going for his second faction. Nice to see some variety. He's going for Dogs of War. Dogs of War have the orcish template for unit sounds and building style. Everybody's laughing, everybody's happy. <laughs> hey Grubster, how are you doing? Playing some dots later? Yep. Greets from Germany. Dota should be around uh, 11, Surfchild. <laughs> I can't believe there's an item breaking mechanic, you know. I don't feel like Blizzard would ever do that. It's so funny. Unfun mechanics. Reddit of Warhammer Eternal Strife. Blizzard, please. It's like mana burn and card discarding. You can destroy enemy items. Taking away the opponent's potential rather than building your own. How does it work? I don't know. How does one do it? I will ask. Yep. I'll nerf it for next patch. <laughs> there should be. There should be. I remember there was a suicide hero too. At the moment it's just a spell. It breaks one random slots. Oh, so if you have three items, it's 50-50 to even break anything at all. <laughs> That's so funny. Just be lucky and five slotted. May not do anything. That's what I would do. I would just be lucky. If you're six slotted, you're guaranteed to be unlucky. <laughs> Wow. 
Why did I stop using W Booster? Well, it wouldn't work on this map anyway. I didn't stop using it. It doesn't work anymore for me. Hey, this sand guy is slapping the creeps. That's a lot of dust devils. Does dust devil have like a real world meaning? Isn't it like a, a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Or is it like a, a phenomenon in the Arizonian deserts or something? Oh, it's a tornado. A small tornado. Did you guys know that tornadoes swing opposite ways in the northern and southern hemisphere? In one it's counterclockwise and in the other it's clockwise. Yes, because of the Corollas effect. Exactly. It's a popular misbelief. No, it's true. Just like toilet flush? No, I think that's an urban myth, the toilet flush. Why? Are they stupid? <laughs> yes, it is because, in fact, tornadoes are stupid. In the southern hemisphere, anyway. <laughs> that's a lie the earth is flat so is your mom okay cool good i've seen a massive upgrade in chat quality keep it up guys dust Play devil small brief attack. whirlwind occurring most frequently in the early afternoon when a land surface is heating rapidly dust devils are occasionally made visible by the lofting of dust leaves or other loose matter from the surface see also whirlwind I wonder if it could be like fecal matter comprising a dust devil. Here we go, Pikeman rush. A player's forces are under it's a fast expansion this time by Inspired. Yo, is Hank playing differently? Where is his fast expansion? He's got some units, yes. But no fast expo. Oh, there we go. Heal wave. This is this is what is called like um, a cloaking attack, where you cloak the existence of your expo with an aggressive defense. It's like an Aragorn move. Aragorn and the Fellowship of the Ring and the armies of the of all that is good in Middle Earth. This attack is doomed to fail. A frontal assault on Mordor's gate. But it's all to protect Frodo. The expansion. The chance for the future. What's this? What, he was getting an upgrade? Arabian warrior. Mm. Alcazar. Main military building of the Arabi sub-faction. Oh yeah! This crazy mother trucker nightmare who made this map. He made like sub factions in so many of the different uh, races. So that not only are you the race with all your units, but you can choose one sub faction. Do you want to add trolls to your army? Or goblins? Or, and in this case, Arabians. Arabi sub faction. Arabian warrior. There is a parenthesis error in your title. Unacceptable. It's too late now. Maybe my title was too short and then when I uh, too long and then when I shortened it, I didn't see it. That was Return of the King. Yep. What race is this? We have Sea Dogs. Dogs of the Sea or something. And they're a mercenary faction from Warhammer. See? They have little pirate uh, bandanas. <laughs> a player's forces are under attack. <laughs> I think Inspired has this unlocked, but I thought that about Hank last game and I was wrong. Here's the big attack. We'll see. This looks like a pretty good all-in. It's a 50 pop all-in. 
town pretty much he only has two workers on wood so this is an all-in it's make or break and he has roar oh you know what i think hank might have this roar is huge 25 percent bonus damage that's that's a lot of damage hot diggity down that just ruined his entire future it's a huge flame strike but he has to heal up and he is healing up hank does have a seed of rebirth but look at this one knight is here fighting a cursed skeleton davy jones's incarnation but he came back some of the dust devil and he's dealing with the knight good for him Hey, man. Hey, Anticity. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Inspired is holding on for dear life. He's at 50 pop. 40 uh, by Hank. Hank is low on his hero. He is going to get a level up. And he's got a Rock Volt the Hammer. Arc Lecter. A nearby Hierophant has died. I can't tell who's gonna win. If you're not a Warcraft player and you're watching this, and you can't see the difference between the colors on the units, I actually might not blame you. Even though red and yellow are very different colors. On the little ones, it's kind of hard to tell. Any Witcher lore in it? No Witcher lore. That red guy is wearing a yellow shirt? Exactly. That's the problem. Are under attack. This guy is wearing a yellow shirt. That's his Arabian look. <laughs> like golden, let's say. So it's kind of hard to know who, who he's with. Oh my god. 29 pop left. And Hank was even getting harassed. Inspired is doing some inspired run buys. There's only four workers in the gold mine right now. Huge Warstorm flame strike. I think Inspired has this. He's gonna go for the 2-0. He's leading 1-0 already. He's got an expansion. He defended. He's going to tier two on his mercenary fort. Leading in supply. Level five. And there's a boots of teleportation. The uh, players of this match agreed to face me for one map after the tournament concludes which might be very soon indeed and i don't know the map nearly as well as them so it's gonna be tough all i will have is my raw rts uh, skills but i won't know what i'm doing so i'll be like usain bolt but running in the dark into walls and stuff is it better to see what race am I going? I don't know. I guess it would be best to play one I played before, but I can't say that I remember much of it. Play Skaven? I feel like I should just do something for entertainment, yeah. I'll play Skaven without any idea of what I'm doing. Because you guys want to see Skaven or Lizardman. You want to see either one of those. So it's going to be Skaven or Lizards. Ogres fun too. I played them before though. I'm keen to show something new. Okay. Inspired lost his tower. Kept his uh, sea dogs alive. Ah, he's getting harassed again. Oh no, he's killing. Oh, he almost killed Michael. It would have popped his seed of rebirth. I think he rallied these Arabian warriors to constantly be in the worker line. It's a good strategy. He's been running them in. What's next? Increases the armor of Arabian warriors, Hashishins, and Efreets. A player's forces are under attack. I want to see Efreets with fire shield. Skaven might be a hard faction. I think Lizardman would be good. Somehow I think you might be right. I haven't seen them, but I feel like skaven might be really hard because of the whole underground and and cloaking mechanic that i'm familiar with from warhammer 2 and warhammer 3 when i played them total war warhammer 2 and 3. i think like yeah that might be complicated 
Don't listen to lizards. We have rat. Ooh. Helm of the Lawgiver. Grants the bearer plus six to all attributes. The Blessed Wine. Regenerates mana, but then gives mischance. Is that how wine works? I guess it does. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, that's his ult, the Jin. Wait, what happened to the Jin? Oh, <laughs> GG. What happened to it? It blew up. We rebottled it and threw it. Three wishes. What was your third wish? Winning? <laughs> wish is two times damage to the spell. <laughs> okay. Wow. You deserve your items broken by a spell, bro. That was a bit mean, but uh, okay, let's play one map. Thanks, GG. All right, Skaven or Lizardman? <laughs>